Hello friends, my name is Mahesh Kulkarni and today we are going to learn that how to create a simple Jax B application in Eclipse. So basically the Jax B stands for Java Architecture for XML Binding and it is used for marshalling and unmarshalling. Marshalling that means we are going to convert the Java object into an XML file and unmarshalling that means we are going to convert that XML file back into a Java object. So let's see what we are going to do over here return to the Eclipse ID now this is the demo application which is created executed on the console now you can see that the message enter ID name address and salary now I'm going to enter the value first ID as E0012987 then name as Mahesh address as supports Pune and last that is salary I'm entering the salary as suppose 40,000 just press the enter now you can see that the marshalling and unmarshalling is done that means you are going to convert this object into an XML file with the name as employee.xml with the root element as employee and some tags that is address ID name and salary and the unmarshalling that means we are going to convert this XML file back into an object now you can see that the whatever the values which are entered by the user getting display over here so let's see step by step how to do it first I'm going to clear the console and delete this project that is right click and delete to create a new project go to the file new and Java project. Specify the name of the project as JAXB demo app. Click on the next finish. Now you can see in the yeah, that your JAXB demo app project is created over here. So expand it now under the SRC folder I am going to create the three package so first package with the name as data within this package I am going to create that XML file that is employer.xml another package as demo within this package I am going to create the main class which contain the main method that is public static void main and this main method and within this method I'm going to call that Marshall and unmarshal method so one more package adds Jacks B within this package I'm going to write the two class the first class that is nothing but the Pojo class which contain their data member constructor and corresponding set arcator and one more class that is the employee Jacks B which contain the body of that Marshall and unmarshal method and we are going to call that method in the public static word main which is written inside the demo package main class so right click on the demo new class specify the name as main and click on finish and here I'm going to write that main method so public static void main and command line argument that is string ARGS initially I'm going to keep it blank so save the changes and close it right click on the Jacks B new class name as employee and click on the finish so this is the Pojo class which contain the data member constructor and the corresponding set agator so here I'm going to use the XML dot bind dot annotation dot star this package that I'm going to import over here so import java x dot xml dot bind dot annotation dot star and specify the data members as private 
string id name and address private data type as integer and salary now I'm going to add the seta getter and the constructor so just right click go to the source generate seta getters select all and ok then once again right click go to the source go to the generate constructor using field and just click on ok once again the right click go to the source generate constructor using field now this time deselect all and click on ok now in this class I'm going to specify that which will be the root element of the XML file and which will be the element which comes under the root element of the XML file so the employee will be my root element so I'm going to specify the annotation as XML root element with name equal to employee and specify which will be your XML element so my first XML element as ID so just copy and paste it that is second one is name third one is address and the last one is salary so this is your employee.java save the changes and close it now right click on the jaxb package new class write the name of the class as employee jaxb and within this class I'm going to write that marshal and unmarshal method which is used to convert the object to the XML and XML back into an object so here within this class I'm going to import the same package that is javax.xml.bind.star so sorry cut import javax.xml dot bind dot star and import java dot io dot star because I'm going to create the XML file so I need the file class which comes under the java dot io package so I'm going to import this package now write down the method as public void marshal now this method is used to convert that object into an XML file first I'm going to write the try catch block just remove this write down as system.out.println and e dot get message to display the error so within this try block first I'm going to create the object of the employee class that is employee.java so employee object as EMP it is equals to new employee and within this constructor I'm going to pass the parameter so first parameter is your ID so I'm going to specify the ID as a001 name as suppose Manoj it is a string so I'm going to write it within the double quotes address it is also a string so I'm going to write within the double quote address as Nasik and salary as suppose 50,000 so the next statement that I'm going to create the object of jaxb context so I'm going to write the jaxb context object jc it is equals to 
the jacksp contest dot new instance and here specify the name of the class as employee dot class so the next step that in this method I'm going to perform the marshalling mechanism so I'm going to use the marshaller create the object as ms equal to jc dot create marshaller and next we have to specify the logic that I'm going to create the XML file under this data package and I'm going to write the data which is entered by the user so for that purpose I'm going to use the set property method so write ms dot set property and specify the first parameter as marshaller dot formatted output so I'm going to specify the first parameter as marshaller dot jaxb formatted output which is set to be the true and second that is ms dot marshall specify the object that is employee and within this I'm going to write so write it out as system dot in and second parameter that is ms dot marshall with the object of employee class that is employee and here I'm going to create that XML file under the data folder so specify the path over here as within the double quotes src folder within the src folder there is a one package that is data and within this package I'm going to create that employee dot XML file now there is some error over here as the method marshal in the type marshal is not applicable for the arguments system dot into result so this is all about your employee jacksb dot java now we are going to call this method into your main dot java so here import your jacksb dot star package create the object of employee jacksb obj it is equal to new employee jacksb and call that method so I'm going to write at object dot marshall now to do the unmarshal we are going to write the public word unmarshal method over here that means which is used to convert that XML file back into an object so I'm going to write as public void unmarshal so the first I'm going to specify the same that is a jacksb context object so I'm going to copy and paste it over here now you can see that one error is occur that is unhandle exception type jacksb end so I'm going to cut it include the try catch block remove this write down as system dot out dot println plus e dot get message and within this try catch block I'm going to write that jacksb context so our next task that in this method I'm going to unmarshal it so I'm going to use the unmarshaller their object that is UMS it is equal to JC dot create unmarshaller and specify the file which is to be unmarshed that means we have to convert that XML file back into an object so I'm going to specify that file over here so write down as employee their object EMP it is equals to employee UMS dot 
unmarshal and here specify your file so I'm going to unmarsh this file so just copy and paste it over here now I'm going to display the information it should be specified within the double quotes so what exactly is remain just expand it okay so just close it just let me check that is employee EMP it is equal to the employee UMS dot unmarshal new file and within this that is SRC folder data package employee dot XML now here I'm going to display the information of ID name address and salary so employee information so first I'm going to display the ID plus object name dot method name so I'm going to write as EMP dot get ID copy and paste after ID I'm going to display the name so EMP dot get name paste address emp dot get address and the last one is your salary so salary plus emp dot get salary and call this method into this main dot java so I'm going to write as obj dot unmarshal now you can see that within this data package no file with the name that is employer.xml is created so first let me check for any particular error okay everything is fine now I'm going to execute it Java application okay no one error is over here there is Java dot I dot buffered input stream cannot be cast to Java extra XML what is forget oh sorry not system dot in it should be system dot out and there is no need for this so just save the changes clear the console and execute it ok success now you can see that the XML file is created with the root element as employee and some tags that is address ID and name with the value that is Nasik A001 Manoj and salary that is 50,000 which is specified over here and next one that is unmarshalling is also done that means we are going to convert that employee.xml file back into an object with the ID name address and salary value getting display over here so you can see that this is the marshalling and unmarshalling that we have done and go to your data just right click refresh it now you can see that the file employee.xml is created over here with the root element as employee and the value of address ID name and salary which is entered by the user so in this way we can create the marshalling that means we can convert the object into an XML file and the XML file back into an object thank you for watching